Hello world, I'm Misty Girl. Welcome back to another video with your girl, Misty Girl. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and a great start off to their week since it is Monday. Happy Monday! This video... <laughs> this video is like a short video. My cousin suggested this video. She recommended it that I do a video like this. So, this is basically my thoughts to when parents are judgmental towards the LGBT community so it's basically like how I feel about it and what you know I should what what I do and what you know you should do kind of like advice if your parents are judgmental and if they like shun you or ban you which they really shouldn't because they're still your family and they're still your parents um especially like the Christian family and like the African American family um because you don't really see that too much with like other races and other um religions besides christianity because christianity and um christian are the top two you know main religions for america and overall and the world itself this is basically how i handle it and how i want you to handle it in a positive way if you ever came out to your family um so I, I didn't really write anything down. This is kind of like me free thinking. So if I'm kind of like hesitant or like if I'm stopping a little bit, just bear with me. Because like I said, I didn't really write anything down. It's just me like talking off the top of my head. So as far as, you know, most of you know, my parents are Christian. My family is Christian. I am Christian. I am black. So they feel as though, you know, a man is supposed to be but a man. You know, God made Adam and Eve. Um, You know, all that good stuff, right? But I did my research because, you know, whenever I would come out to, like, you know, my grandma or my aunt or whatever, my mom or whatever, they'll say, they'll spit out, like, scriptures and, you know, God said this, God said that. And, you know, I did my research and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not doubting God or anything like that. Believe me, I'm not. But I did my research and, you know, I typed up, like, scriptures that talked about homosexuality. And I was reading it and I was interpreting it and I was like, None of these scriptures say that it is against the law or against the religion to be with the same sex. Like, there are some scriptures that do say that. There are, like, maybe two or three. But for the other parts, it's really not, like, unless I'm misinterpreting it. But from what, like, you know, what I'm, you know, and I've read different versions of the Bible. The King James Bible, um, the new trans the new translation, you know, all that stuff. I've I'm I'm reading different versions and you know, modern versions of it now and it still doesn't really click to the homosexuality, you know, community. So I'm like I don't understand and again, like, you know, me personally I believe that God makes everybody out of their own image. So if you wanted someone to be gay or bi or pan or transgender or asexual, he would have never made you that way. He would have never gave you that choice to have that freedom of love, that freedom of be whoever you want to be. He would have never made you that way. You know what I mean? If you wanted everybody to be one race, one nationality, one religion, one, um, you know, one this, one that, one this, one that, he would have never given you the opportunity to expand and explore. And he wouldn't create terms like, you know, you're black, you're Hispanic, you're white. He would have never given you that choice to be who you are. You know what I mean? If that makes sense, like... That's why I say, like, God loves all his children. And he does. It says in the Bible he loves all his children. So why judge me because I'm different than you? Why judge me because I'm black, I'm Christian, and I'm gay, or I'm lesbian, or I'm bi, or I'm pansexual, or I'm transgender, or I'm asexual? Like, no. In the Bible, it specifically says you should not judge. So why judge me just because I'm different than you? It's like me judging a Hispanic person because they're Hispanic. Like, no, I love all people. I love all people of all races, all people of all ethnicity, of all culture, of all background, of all religion, of all sexual preferences. I love people in general. I'm a people person. So I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? So, like, why would you do that, especially to your own children, your own grandchildren, your own niece and nephew, cousins, whatever? Why would you do that to your own family member? At the end of the day, that's still your family. So that's, that's my intake on it. That's my thought. And everybody has their own opinion. But, you know, my opinion kind of makes sense. Like, you know, like it kind of pulls one and, one and two together. Um, so what I basically do about this whole sexuality thing with me, me, me being a lesbian and stuff like that, um, I try not to engage with it in a conversation, especially when, um, you know, 
Because my grandma's very strict. Like, she's very, like, this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. She's not some person to change her mind, none of that stuff. My mom, yeah, she's open. You know, now she'll ask me questions. Now I can kind of tell she's kind of easing her way into it. And my dad, like I said before in my coming out videos, my dad's just very, like, you know, he works with he works with students of all ages. So he works with families of all ages. He's a vice principal, so he's know, he knows different families. So he's very accepting of it. Um, you know, so I try not to bring it. Like, now I will bring it up to my mom and we'll have a kind of, kind of conversation. It'll kind of lead left, but then it'll kind of come back to, you know, it'll kind of come back, you know, to kind of where I want it to be. But my grandma, I really wouldn't, you know, I really wouldn't bring it up because she'll always have an argument with me. You know, it'll, it'll basically, then it'll turn into me listening and her talk instead of us talking and us having a two, two, two to two conversation. It'll just be me listening and her talking. And that's not fair. Um, so, you know, I just wouldn't really bring it up. If, um, I haven't had a girlfriend since last year. So if I do have a girlfriend or when I do have a girlfriend, um, I'll wait until like, a couple of months until we're actually in a relationship we're actually you know i'm starting to see her more and more and more you know what i mean um then i'll say you know hey this is my girlfriend you know like you guys want me to be happy i'm happy with her so just like you don't have to be like oh hooray yeah, yeah, yeah. like no i don't want that i just want you to be happy for me you know um so as far as you guys, if you guys are having any problems or any situations or any issues with your mom, your grandma, whoever the case may be, being judgmental towards you because of your sexuality and because of your race. Because like I said, it doesn't really happen towards white people or Hispanic people. I don't know why, but just black people, we're just, parents are really strict in black cultures. I don't know why. We're really like, they're really like, this is what it is and this is what it's going to be. That's what it is. And I don't know why, like I said. But I won't be like that to my child. You are who you are regardless. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. That's all that matters. As long as you're safe and healthy, that's all that matters. So, with regards to you all and my audience, um, honestly, just don't. If you know your parents or grandparents are very attackative and they like to attack and start arguments, don't keep putting the fire out there. It's going to take some time for them to, you know, understand where you're coming from. It's going to take some time for them to be accepted of you. But if you keep constantly arguing and arguing and bringing the situation and bringing the conversation up every single day or whatever the case may be, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help them build that relationship. So just take a step back. Let them um, understand it the way they want to understand it. Um, you know, write in your journal. Talk to people who you want to talk to. Talk to people on campus if you're in college. You know, just talk to people. Um... You know, if, if you feel as though you're ready to talk to your mom or grandma or whoever the case may be about it, like if you're about to get into a relationship with a girl or a guy and you feel as though they need to know, then you know, yes, you have the right to talk about it. But as far as like constantly bringing it up every single day and, you know, adding fuel to the fire, it's not worth it. It's not healthy. It's not going to lead to a, you know, a brighter path. So, yes, it is difficult. Like I said, I don't know why for us African Americans it's hard to um, accept other people and accept the same sex marriage umbrella, but it is unfortunately it's sad. And I love black lesbian couples. I love black gay couples. I love black transgenders. I love black because you know you don't really see it that much. You see it more so black people, um, Hispanic people being lesbian, white people being. You see it more in them because and they're open to it. Because, you know, I guess it's to their religion and their culture. But with us, like I said, our rules are very strict. So it's very to the T. They're, they're more lenient. I don't judge anybody, you know, you are who you are, your culture is what your culture is. But I'm just sitting what I've experienced myself. I'm having Hispanic friends, Caucasian friends, you know, Muslim friends, you know, whatever. I've experienced that their, their cultures are more lenient. As far as our cultures, the African American cultures, we're more strict. That's where I'm coming from. Um, so that's my thought. You are who you are. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. As long as God happy, that's all that matters. Um, the only person who could judge you is God. And if you want to bring that point up to your grandparents, your godparents, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your older cousin, so be it. Most of my members of, you know, YouTube, my subscribers are older, so they have more of a voice to say so. Um, so, you know, I'm always here for you. You can always message me. You can always comment below. Um, so that's basically my thought about it. 
Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, like it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what you want me to see me do next week. Story time. Anything. Just let me know. Um, I love you guys. Be true, be you. And stay blessed. Bye.